Hey guys, it's me, JHJJHG1, and I really, really hope this camera angle is good enough for this video. I'm really worried that it's not, so I'm gonna actually have to like keep looking and making sure that you can see everything I'm doing. This is not a video that I can like redo, so yeah. So in this video, I'm going to be re redoing my re wigging my beautiful Julie doll and her hair. <laughs> It's such a mess. It's been horrific since the day I got her. I got her brand new, and um, I probably can't see, but she just has like a bunch of like bald like patches in her hair, and then there's like there was an air bubble right here. I don't know if you guys can see. And she just, her hair is constantly falling out. And yeah, I brought her to the American Girl store one time, and they said that yeah, that's very weird. Her hair should not be like this, and that it was put on the wrong way, and it's just not a good wig. And they offered to give me a brand new American Girl doll, Julie, in replace of my Julie. And my Julie was still like wearing her entire meat outfit and everything, and I never removed it from her. But I felt like that was betraying my Julie since I had her for. A couple of months before I actually had a, like it took to like the summer and I got her in on Christmas so I was like you know you've been with my doll for like months I'm not gonna just like betray you and get rid of you so yeah that's what happened so I have this fabulous wig to put on her it has bangs very different because you know Julie doesn't have bangs and it's like a white color and it has a bunch of like it's really messy because it's not brushed it has all these like colored like highlights and everything in it and I thought it was really pretty and it'll make my Julie actually like I'll actually be able to use her because I never use her because of her hair and I never wanted to make it like worse than it actually is. Here let me show you that one more time. Hopefully hopefully you can see it. Um yeah. So I've never actually gotten much use out of my Julie and hopefully I'll be able to get more use out of her with her new wig that's not gonna constantly have hair falling out and all of that. It's great, my hair was doing exactly what I didn't want it to do during that entire um, intro. It was like splitting and down the center and everything. So we're gonna use a spoon to rip off her wig. I've done this plenty of times before. I don't use nail polish remover because I don't have non-acetone nail polish remover and um, normal nail polish remover will damage her, her flesh or vinyl or whatever it's called and uh, yeah that's not what I want to do I don't want to damage my doll we're trying to just take off her wig so we're probably going to start from the front I'm kind of scared because she's such a pretty doll and I don't want to ruin her all the other dolls that I've re-wigged have been like like old like really used beat up dolls that I got off of eBay for the purpose of oh I feel like there's a spider on my leg um for the purpose of just like redoing them and making them to their former glory, but uh, yeah, she's pretty in pretty good condition, so I'm a bit scared, but you know what, it's her hair, and I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and now's a good time to just, just do it. Right now let's get started, I'm probably going to speed up this, or like not show all of it, because I don't want this video to be extremely long, hopefully you guys will be able to see what I'm doing, because the camera angle is kind of bad, and I usually like do this and it's easier to just get it off but like I have to do this just to so you guys can see it better I don't know so yeah let's do this um part of her wig is kind of already messed up but that's not the front part and so this is going to be very difficult and probably mess up her neck so that's great I think I found the sets. No, no, I didn't. Yes, I did.
and just get off. Alright guys, we are back and I had to um, stop recording, like I couldn't record me taking this, like all of her hair off because it was just way too difficult to do that. I ended up finding some non-acetone um, nail polish remover in my house. I had to go on a great search for it and right when I was about to give up, I found it. And um, yeah, I'm so glad I found it because it was such a big help because with just a spoon, it it was going nowhere. And I also used, where is it? Oh, I don't know where it went. Um, this like funky little like butter knife thing is covered in Julie hair. Um, this little butter knife thing, it has like a point to it and I don't know, it's like like that, kind of like a spoon. And it really helped with getting like up and under the wig and just pulling it all off. I use this way more than I use a spoon. Um, this is a bunch of Julie hair that came out of the wig and there's like Julie hair all over the floor. And this is her wig off. And you can just see her little braid. This is probably like really scary for some people because they love Julie and they think, why would you do that to her precious hair? But her hair is already in terrible shape from the day I got her. So like her hair, it's just, it's just pulling out so easily. It's kind of disgusting. And I'm like covered in Julie hair. I'm gonna think that like a thousand spiders are attacking me like every single second of the day now. So, I'm gonna go put on her new wig, and uh, yeah, I'll come, sh I'll show you guys. Alright guys, here's Julie. She looks so adorable. Um, so I got her wig on. It was a bit difficult at first, but then I figured out a really easy way of getting it on, and it just looks so adorable. For some reason, the camera won't focus. I wish it would. Alright, it's focused a bit more. Um, so her bangs are super cute. I think Julie looks adorable with bangs. And let's just take a look at all of these colors. There's like oranges and purples and blues and like pinks. Just all throughout her hair. Um, it looks gorgeous to me. Um, so you can see there's some under layers. Um, you can look through. Um, some places they're more bluish than other places. Um, right here is a really bright shade of blue. I wish it was actually like up, like above all those colors because it's like the prettiest. But like, look at that um, lighting. It, it's like a kind of like an aqua, aqua marine tealish color. But the camera, it's not really working out. I think I'm gonna take a couple photos because I believe. Um, quality is better in my photos than videotaping so I will be taking a couple photos of her and I'm gonna go show her in some probably some better lighting I, at least I think it's some better lighting which is my staircase because there's like a big overhead light which will probably make the lighting much better so I'm just gonna quickly show you guys off in better lighting I need to stop alright guys so here's the better lighting or at least I think it's better so you can just take a look at some of the colors and I think she just looks so pretty. Um, I don't know. She looks just gorgeous to me. I think Julie looks really good with bangs. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Um, leave a comment, like, subscribe if you wish. And um, attached to the end of this is going to be a couple pictures of her. So make sure you watch those. Yay. All right, guys. Bye.